Even though it's springtime and seasonal heating costs are going down, farmers are always looking for ways to improve the bottom line. In this report provided by Oklahoma State University Sunup, Clinton Griffiths tells us how poultry producers need to seal things up. The property here is owned by Daryl Reynolds near Short, Oklahoma. He runs a 100,000 bird operation under four separate barns. I've been doing it 12 years and uh, worked outside the farm and had the land and wanted just to uh, find something to do. In the last couple of years, Reynolds found himself searching for a way to cut production costs, especially during the winter months. Well, propane went up so high and then uh, it just got to looking like uh, I needed to redo my brooders too, so I just tried to kill two birds with one stone there and sort of beat the, the cost of the propane, and of course then propane went down, so, right. so I figured it'll go back up though. To do it, he covered his walls with insulated boards and sealed them at the top and bottom. He also sealed the ridge cap along the roof. Now, when he turns on the barn's air system, Reynolds is able to increase the barn's static pressure. And that static pressure makes a big difference in how comfortable the birds are on the inside. We brought OSU Extension Energy Management Engineer Scott Frazier along to show us why. He started with a little smoke and low static pressure. What we're, what we're simulating is a leaky house that doesn't have a lot of static pressure. So the smoke is, uh, or the air, it's not coming in very fast, and because it's colder outside <clears throat> than the warm inside, the air does not go up to the top of the uh, ceiling and scrub off the warm air and bring it down to the bottom. It just kind of comes down and lays down on the floor. So why is this bad? What does this mean? Well, we want to use the air coming in to mix with the warm air that's at the top of the ceiling to, uh, because you've paid for that air through uh, heating the propane or whatnot. So in essence, this is just bringing in cold air and it'll move the, uh, it'll uh, get the chicks cold, which is not what we want. And it's not mixing the hot air that you've already paid for. And this is how it's supposed to look. Air following along the roof until it hits the heated air, mixing together and blanketing the birds in warmth. Anytime the uh, static pressure is low because of a leaky house, because there's all these little leaks around here, static pressure is going to be low and the velocity is going to be very low coming through these vents. So as you bring in air, you tend to make the problem even worse. Even in the tightest buildings, leaks can and will occur. Okay, go ahead. So if we were sealing up this house, we might come back with, uh, we might take a, uh, a marker and mark this and then come back with some foam and foam it up a little bit. Frazier says there's a payoff in sealing and insulating these large barns. Owners could expect a savings anywhere from 10 to 20% on their heating bill keeping the heat where it's needed and the animals comfortable and growing. Affording producers like David Reynolds the ability to stay in business. In Short, Oklahoma, I'm Clinton Griffiths reporting. In a related matter, poultry research teams at Mississippi State have been studying the same issue, lost heat in poultry barns. They say air gathering in the attics of broiler houses can be as much as 20 degrees warmer than outside air. And Mississippi State researchers use ceiling inlets to redistribute solar heated attic air as opposed to bringing in cooler outside air. They concluded that circulating the warmer attic air within the chicken houses reduced the demand for heat fuel by about 20 to 25 percent. 